I'm Ann Trujillo with your Denver 7 update. The people running Colorado's court system were ready to pay two and a half million dollars to make sure you never heard this story. If not for the diligent reporting of our colleagues at the Denver Post, they might have been successful. Here is Megan Lopez. It started with a tip about a questionable contract, a $2.5 million five-year deal for training awarded by the Colorado Judicial Department to Mindy Macias, the former chief of staff. The rub to that was that she was facing uh, discipline. David Magoya is the Denver Post investigative reporter who received that tip and has been digging into it for more than two years. Why was someone facing firing all of a sudden given a very lucrative contract? Magoya was able to interview the former state court administrator, Christopher Ryan, who claimed the reason for that contract was. Ms. Macias was prepared to reveal uh, in a sex discrimin sexual discrimination lawsuit she would file against the judicial department if they proceeded and continued to fire her. After Denver Post reporting, that contract was canceled. But this week, the Colorado Supreme Court released a memo shedding light on the allegations of sexual harassment, destruction of evidence, and payoffs to keep people silent in Colorado's court system. It's really putting a lot of question marks over the integrity of the highest courts of, of our state. The memo accuses judges of sending pornographic video over judicial emails. Another judge, quote, exposed and rubbed his hairy chest on a female employee's back, women being passed up for promotions and more, all of which Ryan says led to that contract to keep Macias quiet. Now the auditor general of the state will be conducting an investigation and Colorado lawmakers are also calling for a hearing. The level of corruption, the level of cover up, the level of lack of transparency and the lack of integrity really will force us, if need be, to exercise all options to ensure that we have accountability. Those concerns, unfortunately, I can't say that I'm surprised, are something lawyer Chris Forsyth has been raising for years. No one would listen. And and now this has happened. Forsyth is the executive director of the Judicial Integrity Project in Colorado. But for nearly a decade, fighting the judicial system has been an uphill battle. We've proposed simple proposals that would completely have prevented this situation and should be the status quo going forward, which is public judicial discipline proceedings and an elected state court administrator. Now, with the momentum of the Denver Post reporting, he's cautiously optimistic, but waiting to see if this time something actually does change. Megan Lopez, Denver 7. And thanks for watching this Denver 7 update. Make sure to download the Denver 7 app for your smartphone to get breaking news and alerts around the clock. I'm Ann Trujillo.